Using your Garmin GPS like Google Earth couldn't be simpler. As a matter of fact, it comes with a pre-built map that you can view. See, view map. Go ahead and click on that. Now this isn't calculating a route or anything like that, giving you directions. This is just, as you can see, ready to navigate. It's actually just showing you a map that you can go ahead and search through to find points of interest or find a location that you're searching for. And in this way, it's very similar to Google Earth. As a matter of fact, it gets even more similar. Go ahead and touch the, go ahead and touch the monitor. It gives you the option to zoom in or zoom out of your map so that you can go ahead and view the area that you're currently in from a higher view, just like Google Earth. Now, if you touch the screen twice, it'll actually open up into an actual interface similar to Google Earth. As a matter of fact, you can there, see this arrow in the upper left-hand corner. You can click on it. It'll actually pull you up higher so that you get more of an aerial view of your location, your you know location and surrounding area. You can also choose here to rotate the map very similar to Google Earth. It will rotate you around. You can look at your surrounding area in more of a 3D mode and view if there's any uh, you know, POIs, points of interest, or amenities around in your area. So in this way, it's very similar to Google Earth, and you can actually go ahead you know, and explore the map. You can also type in, um, you can also choose places that you want to view, traffic, things that you want to view on your map while you're, while you're viewing. And of course, you can also go into your map under, if you go back out to the main menu, and you go to where to, you can actually type in a more specific address or a city. You can even search by city. Go under categories, scroll down under cities. This is under search tools. You'll find cities. You can actually type in a specific city and then go into that map. Like let's say we want to do, let's say we don't want to do Flower Mound, Texas instead of Louisville. Okay, it's going to go ahead and go to it on the map. It's going to give us basically a map of that general area or directions to that area. And then, of course, by double tapping on the map, you can then zoom out and view the, you can then follow your trail or path just by sliding your finger on there, follow your route over to the flower mound area, and then view the flower mound area. So in this way, it's also very similar to Google Earth.